Let's talk about R strategists versus K strategists. So the first thing I want us to do is take a look at this graph over here in which the x-axis is time and the y-axis is population size. This line over here indicates the carrying capacity, which is the maximum number of individuals that the population can hold. And this blue curve right here is an exponential growth curve. And exponential growth has a rate of change that increases as the population size increases. Because of this, it means that the population size is unbounded. So regardless of any environmental conditions or the number of resources available, the population size is just going to grow forever. But we know that realistically, the population size cannot grow exponentially because the population is limited by the carrying capacity since the environment can only provide a limited number of resources. Therefore, the population is going to grow logistically. And so this red curve represents logistic growth, in which the carrying capacity does matter. So two key ideas to know are number one, our strategists reproduce exponentially or at the exponential part of the curve, whereas K strategists reproduce near the carrying capacity. And that's actually where the name K strategist comes from, since K indicates the carrying capacity and K strategists reproduce near the carrying capacity, we call them K strategists. So our strategists would reproduce when the population size is at this part of the curve, whereas K strategists reproduce near the carrying capacity. Let's also discuss two key vocabulary words. The first is fecundity, and fecundity is basically the ability to produce a lot of offspring. So it's the potential to produce offspring. Or you can say that it is the capability of an organism to reproduce. Now, survivorship is essentially the number or proportion of individuals that survive to each age for a specific species, but we can think of it as how long you live. Let's now compare our strategists and case strategists. Our strategists have high fecundity and low survivorship. This means that they have the potential to reproduce a lot of offspring but those offspring don't survive for long. So if we take a look at a survivorship curve of an R strategist species, we'll notice that it, they exhibit a type three curve. And in this curve, most of the offspring die at a young age and the remaining will survive for a long time. One reason why these strategists have high fecundity is because they live in unstable and unpredictable environments. So this means that there might be a lot of predation or mortality. So there is a less likely chance that the organism will survive long enough to reproduce or to a later age. Therefore, it is in the parent's best interest to produce as many offspring as they can so that even if most of them die because of predation or mortality or other unstable reasons in the environment, at least a few will survive to reproduce. But one trade-off to having a lot of offspring is investing a very little amount of energy into each offspring. So just to reiterate, our strategists have lots of offspring 
and the size of these offspring are typically very small because their parents are investing literal energy into making them grow and become strong in order to survive. And therefore, the energy to reproduce is low. But this is really different from K strategists who actually have low fecundity but high survivorship. So if we take a look at a survivorship curve for a case strategist, we'll notice that they're mostly type 1 or maybe type 2 because most will survive to an old age. And so looking at our strategists that live in unstable and unpredictable environments, K strategists, on the other hand, live in very stable and predictable environments. We also learned that our strategists have little investment in their offspring, so most of them die at a young age. But K strategists invest a lot of energy in their offspring. So most of them will survive to a later age. And we can see this on the survivorship curve because most of the offspring live until a later age and there's a high death rate at a later age in life. We also know that because they invest a lot of energy in their offspring, they have a few number of offspring. And the size of their offspring is large because they invest in the survival and the strength of their offspring, and therefore the energy to reproduce is high. So ultimately, K strategists have few offspring and high investment, whereas R strategists have very little offspring and invest little. Some example of R strategists are bacteria, rabbits, and mice, whereas case strategists are sequoia trees, us humans, and elephants. I hope this video helped, and if it did, please like, comment, share, and subscribe. Thank you.